taking on the Baltimore Orioles. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started. And on the hill in this one, Tyler Wells. And Singy, he likes pitching at home. Well, truly for him, there is no place like home. He's been so dominant here. And as a teammate, you expect him when pitching at home this year to go out and dominate just as he has. The fans expect it. But I think everyone around here knows that he's a good pitcher. Even though we don't see the same splits on the road, we're going to start to see that translate as well. Leading off, T.J. Friedel. Way high there. And we are underway. First pitch. 7.06. And the 1 0. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Swings and misses. Now one and two. A one-two count. All he's seen is fastballs. You've got to expect something off speed. Stay back. Next pitch inside. Two and two. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. On the ground. Santander tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The shortstop. Matt. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. That one misses. That's a, that's a ball. ball one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one, one. Hard on the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. That in third. The second baseman. Jonathan. India. Jonathan India at the plate. Hey, First pitch, and that's in for a strike. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Oh and two. Oh and two now. That to right, McKenna under it, pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the first, 0-0. Zero, zero. Back now at Oriole Park. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Andrew Abbott. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Leading Most guys, on. they get a little tight, they start to aim the no baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Austin Hayes, no, the out. next to hit, takes ball one. The lefty, the 1-0. And yeah, that's outside. Nope, that's outside, ball. And yeah, that one is in for a strike. The two on. And that one oh. missing low. And there's ball nope, four. That's ball four. Runner taking base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Peter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's Adley Rutschman. 
known for his rocket arm behind the plate. In there, and it's Owen Wong. Adley Rutschman is one of seven catchers to be taken with the first overall pick in the draft. The first, Steve Chilcott, 1966. He never made the majors, and worth noting, the number two overall pick in that draft, Reggie Jackson. Next offering Yo, is down it, low at one and one. Nobody out, runner at first. The one one is fouled off. And a pitch. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. And now the count filled up three and two. Got a full count. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. And I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location. But he found a way to just get it by him. Anthony Santander at the plate. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And ball oh. one. Hayes over at first with one away. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Run scores easily, and the Orioles strike first. It's 1 0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's the Oriole cleanup hitter, Gunnar Henderson. for a strike it's 0 and 1 0 1 one out and a runner at second and he's down 0 2 as he swings no through it two strikes Runner leads away at second. Gets a piece and it stays 0 and 2. Left hand batter waits. Good. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, you got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere and you got a chance. Very yeah. frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. Here's Aaron Hicks. Right, and the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0 and 1. Man on second, two down. Clips the corner. That is strike two. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. 0-2 oh now. Runner at second. Two down. Next offering uh -huh. misses. Oh. Yeah, the count one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Bounce to the right. India over to first in time. And Hicks is out. That's the third out. Inning over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. 
It's now one nothing. You're dialed into the show. Second inning set to go. Now it's the DH, Ellie De La Cruz. De La Cruz. The wind of the pitch. Out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. One out in the second. Well, he's one of the best shortstops in the That's sport, good. no doubt about it. Good. And he put his skills okay. on display Three. once again right there. Great stop on the backhand, but it was the transfer and throw for me that really stood out. With the speed going down the line, there's no way he gets the out any other way. That was impressive. Oh, Jake Fraley in the box with one, one away ball, no as he takes ball one. The pitch. Just no, missed. Out. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Next offering is foul back. Just off the outside edge. Now three and one. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. One gone runner at first. And the batter now is Joey Votto. And the first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. And another Two ball. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Good hitters count the 2 0. That oh. one misses. That's five straight. Fraley leads off first with one away. And ball Thank four to a board. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Here's the rookie third baseman, Spencer Steer. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. Oh. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. The 1-0. Oh. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch, not close, up high. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Oh, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. So first and second with two outs. In now for the Reds, Will Benson. That one's in there, 0 and 1. That's down and in. One and one. The 1 1 is fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Got him! Third out. So they strand a pair. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Orioles one and the Reds nothing.
back here at the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Ramon Urias. The first baseman, Ramon Urias. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, Cedric Mullins. First pitch that and he hits. just misses. One Runner at first with no outs here. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. The right fielder. Ryan. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ryan McKenna. That's yeah. in there. Strike one. First and second here, no outs. Out to short. Oh, great stop. Throw to first. In time. Got him. Batting none. Not shortstop. That was an impressive Damn. diving stop. Singy, let's dive into the numbers. Stetcast, the simple. Yeah, Boog, a really good effort just to get his glove to the ball. He found a way to do it and just produce a strong throw as well. So that right there is a great play all the way around. Just really smooth. Jorge Mateo now. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. And there's the strike. Oh, and one. Just the missed. Urias at third. Mullins at second with one away. Falling behind That's two and one. Ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Kicks and deals. The two on is high. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up, that's in on your hands. That'll pop you up in the infield, and that's exactly what the pitcher wants. And a 3-1 on the way. There's a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1, you want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Three and two now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. You usually are going to see that inside fastball a little longer coming in from the opposite oh, side, good. but that pitch oh, really fair. got in on him right there. I mean, that's a hey. well-thrown pitch. Tough to do anything with that in terms of getting the hands through and the sweet spot of the bat to the baseball. And now it's Austin Hayes. The walk and a run scored his first time. And a foul ball. Oh. 
next pitch misses and it's one and one. Well he's one so great strike. about hitting the ball the other way he gets those arms extended so right there just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. That's pitch misses outside. and it's two and one. And now the lefty fouled off left side. Two on, two outs. Bounced up the middle. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He decides to eat it, and a run scores. So two outs with runners on the corners. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Ball one, one ball, no ball strikes. Strike. And he deals. Swing and a ball popped up. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. So two on with two away. Anthony Santander will hit next. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. Good eye right That's there. The pitch. First and second, two down. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Still able to get it there in time. And that leaves them with runners at second and third. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Orioles three and the Reds nothing. Welcome back. On to the third inning. Here's the catcher, Luke Maley. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Well, Siggy here in Baltimore and uh, crab cakes. We need to get our hands on some crab cakes. You think we'll get someone to maybe run down for us and, and grab a few? Absolutely. It's got to happen. Maryland crab cakes, the best. And you talk about the seasoning. Nobody does it better than the people here in the city of Baltimore. But even so, here at the ballpark, some great food. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one out now. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Okay. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs okay. in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Friedel stands in now, looks at that one inside. Next one in oh. the dirt. Yeah, and I'm kind of partial to my guy Boog down there over that right field wall and uh, some barbecue because Boog can oh, fire up some pretty good barbecue. Yeah, and I'm surprised we haven't seen any of that yet up here in the booth. Come on, man. Let's go. And right. the 3-0 finds the zone. Downstairs, and it misses ball four. Well, that's a really good take right there, and that's just mentally prepared, knowing that if it's not on a tee, you're going to take that pitch because you still have one more strike to work with. Not easy to lay off, but he did an excellent job in that plate appearance. McLean in the box now as he leaves that one up high.
in the air out towards left center. Hayes tracks it down for the out. The batter number six, second base, Jonathan India. So up next, Jonathan India flied to right his first time. Fouled off. He was late. Friedel off of first with two away. Next offering upstairs. Check swing. No appeal. Misses inside. Three balls and a strike. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And Ed Drummond right on it says he held up. We just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? Singy, I think just our presence is the present. So first and second with two outs. Now the Reds cleanup hitter, Ellie De La Cruz. To the right side. They get the force. And that is the third out of the inning. Reds strand a couple. They trail it here, 3-0. Back here in Baltimore. And now, Gunnar Henderson. The third baseman. It's been a rough start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. He was late there, oh strike one. You know, these Orioles doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. That's it's not just down. the three runs they've already scored. On top of that, they forced this starter to throw more pitches than he wanted to at this point of the game. And that is cut on and missed. And, two, and the count. count is one and two. And that pitch count is impactful because if they can keep making him work hard out there, it may force the bullpen to get involved a little sooner rather than later. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. It's Aaron Hicks now. And that's in there for strike one. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Friedel makes the grab. That's out number two. The batter, the first baseman, Ramon. And here's the first baseman, Ramon Urias. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Urias getting to start at first, 28 years old. And he won a gold glove last season. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Gets yeah. the outside corner with that one. Backdoored him with a breaking ball, just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. On the ground, right side. Tosses to first. That's the inning. So, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On to inning number four. It's the Orioles three, and the Reds nothing. Start of the fourth, digging in, Jake Fraley. The right fielder. Jake Fraley. The wide to kick the pitch. 
And that's a little bit high. Well, these Reds showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. The numbers kind of speak for themselves with the four walks. They've done a great job of not trying to do too much and just staying disciplined. Another thing I love is how they've allowed the game to come to them. They're not forcing the issue when they're on offense. And when you force and get anxious, it starts being a lot more likely that you'll let those pitchers off the hook. Here's a one two. That one two, missed. Two. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The idea was right looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. Bounced out to short. Mateo sends oh. it to first. And one gone in the fourth the as they get the leadoff man. 19, Joey Votto. And now the first baseman, Joey Votto. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. And that's in for a strike. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Next one misses. Now two and two. It's a good take. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Steer stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Rip towards third. Over to first. That ends the frame. And one, two, three go the Reds. Still down, three nothing. And welcome back. Leading Bottom of the fourth. Off. And now the DH, Cedric the Mullins. Cedric Mullins. And a pitch. Ball drops in there. Well, as a left handed hitter, you kind of expect that breaking ball from the lefty, so you just want to track it and get an idea because you know it's going to come into play later in ball the at bat. The 0 1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. Smash to the left side. Throws across the diamond. One up, one down. Now batting the right fielder, Ryan. McKenna. And next for the Orioles, Ryan McKenna grounded out his first time. In there, and it's 0 1. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Good eye right oh, there. Swing and a ball popped up. And it stays fair. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, but he's in there easily. Well, those kind of lucky soft hits will always make you smile. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it.
Man at second with one away. Jorge Mateo getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. In there for strike one. 0 and 1. The pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Runner at second here, one gone. That one misses. One, it's a ball and two strikes. The one one is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Next offering ball. misses down and away. Two balls, two strikes. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. McKenna coming home. Now a long throw home. It's offline. The run comes in, and they lead by four. Comes through with the RBI. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. So digging in, Austin Hayes. First offering the misses the mark. 1 0. And here it comes. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. Friedel to third. And the throws offline. Safe at third. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Ground ball left side could be two. Steer, toss the second, and that's two. So they get one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Orioles four and the Reds nothing. Back now at Oriole Park. Ready now for the fifth inning and ready to hit now for Cincinnati. Will Benson. Benson. The pitch. And there's the strike. Well, these Reds just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They haven't run a single count full in this ball game, and that's just wild to me. That stat alone shows they're making it way too easy to get them out. Makes the catch, and a quick out number one. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Here's Luke Maley. His first at-bat was a strikeout. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. The Reds yet to pick up a hit here. Next offering is fouled back. Swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Spin rate's outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. The one-one is fouled off. Kicks and fires. There's a line drive to left field. And that gets down into the gap. Around first and hustling for second. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame.
And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Next offering upstairs. Maley one over at one. second, one down. And a base hit. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Back-to-back -back -back base hits. Pretty good spot. Hard and inside, but that's a perfect example of keeping your hands inside the ball tight to the body. The ability to take that back up the middle shows his approach is to use the entire field. Now, Matt McClain. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Right-hander kicks, deals. That one misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Yeah. There's a strike. That's the third. Base hit and a run into score. Oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. Yeah, that's outside. Ball, outside. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. And yeah, the right hander deals. And yeah, that misses off the outside edge. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And yeah, the righty deals. And it is two and one. One out. Runners at first and second. That just misses. And now three balls and a strike. And that'll load the bases. Well, he's normally going to fill up the strike zone and really limit base runners, but his command in this one just seems off out there. A lot more walks than he's used to giving up. De La Cruz, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. All Next right. offering is in for a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Action in the pen down there. Danny Coulomb appears to be getting loose. Number 78, a right-hander, loosening up as well. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Yeah. Now there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. One, two now. Lifted in the air, right center field. Can't glove it cleanly. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Next for Cincinnati, Jake Fraley. Off the plate inside, ball one. one and up. One out, base is full.
Next pitch misses inside. And now 2-0. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. 2-0 to count. Here it comes. Left field. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tagging and heading for home. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly, and it's a one-run game. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. So first and second with two outs. Joey Votto, the next to hit for the Reds. A strikeout and a walk. First offering, and it just misses. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. In the air, out towards right center. McKenna on the move, heading back. Flashes the leather on the running catch. And that will end the inning. So they get three runs on four hits. No errors, but two are left stranded. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Orioles four and the Reds three. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Anthony Santander. Abbott back to work. There's a strike. You know, these Orioles doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. They've done a great job finding holes in the defense. Exactly half of their hits have come off the bat less than 90 miles per hour. So the ball isn't exactly jumping off the lumber, but they're finding a way to make it work. Next one off the plate inside, and that's ball one. Now fly ball to right center. Friedel snags it on the run. Third baseman number two, Gunner. And stepping Henderson. in is the speedy Gunner Henderson. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And there's a ball. 1-1. One one. The 1-1 one one is fouled off. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Got him looking for the strikeout. Clip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Now here's Aaron Hicks. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One out. Right through there for a strike. The 1-1 one -one is upstairs. Two and one. And another ball. Smoked on the ground a second. 
throw over to Votto. Inning over. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they hang on to a one run lead, 4 3. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, number 78. Definitely a guy that pounds the strike zone, makes hitters earn their way on base, and rarely gets in trouble because of free passes. Well, one run game. Spencer Steer now at the plate. The pitch. That's in there. Well, wow, that's 89 on the gun, no, no, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Deal two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Now the left fielder, Will Benson. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And fouled off. One down, base is empty. Movement in the bullpen. Danny Coulomb is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. The 2-1. Two, two and two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. The 2 2. And a swing and a miss. That's his second strikeout. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's not fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Maley stands in now and watches strike one. Ah. In there at the knees. No balls, two strikes. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, oh. he can subtract. One, two. Got him swinging. Three up, three down that time. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Orioles four and the Reds three. New pitcher for the Reds, Ian Jabot. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big Ladies weapon for him this year. So the defense please. should be active. Now pitching for the Reds. Number 79. Ian and here's the first baseman, Ramon Urias. For the Orioles, the first baseman, Ramon. And a pitch. Urias. And fires in a fastball at 95. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Brandon Williamson loosening up for manager David Bell. Strike two. Now just a cement mixer slider right there. It's a great pitch to hit if you can recognize it early and jump on it. Next one is Ball off the play. Out. Gonna count one and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And one away. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Now Got a pitch to hit and that's just couldn't get to it. it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. 
Now here's the Orioles DH. Cedric Mullins. Mullins, 28 years old. And he's usually in the outfield. Today, he's the DH. Ball one, oh. no strikes. You know, Boog, people don't realize how far the jog is from the dugout to the outfield position. And if you're playing in Oakland, man, it's a country mile to get out there. So for him to be able to be the DH today, that is really a nice day off. The 1-1. One -one. Oh. Next right. offering clips the zone count even at two. And now it's filled up. And a swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts. Up next for the Orioles. Two outs, no base is empty. Ryan McKenna, the next to hit for the Orioles. That's in for a strike. Check swing, no appeal. It's a good pitch to try to get him off the plate. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Definitely not going to make his highlight tape. And a 1-2. Got it by him for the K. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. We go to the top of the seventh. Here's the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. The right-hander back to work. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. Hard liner. McKenna puts it away, and there's one away. Fell off the bat, it looked like they might get that tying run on base, maybe even extra bases. No dice, though. A little unlucky on that one. Matt McClain, the next to hit. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. Oh. 1-0. and oh. One and oh. And that's in for a strike. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. In plenty that's of time that. to first, and a couple of quick outs. Second baseman, Jonathan India. In now for the Reds, Jonathan India. And the first pitch misses for ball one. That's a little bit low. Righty to the plate. And that's ripped into left. Base hit. Around first. Digging for two. 
Hayes fires it in as the tying run is forced to stop at second. Well, that was one of those high percentage now, advantage man. counts where batting averages are just so much higher. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. Danny Coulomb comes on now. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So two down. Now it's the Reds' DH, Ellie De La Cruz. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another <laughs> run. That pitch gets the inside corner. 0-1. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here, make sure that he can barrel up the ball. Going two now. One and two. Two outs and one in scoring position. Check swing. Now a look down to first. Ah, and he punches him out. He went around. Nice work from the Baltimore Penn there. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Orioles four and the Reds three. Number 77 on a pitch out of the now pen here. He last pitched two days ago. 77, Daniel Duarte. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. Not shortstop. Jorge Mateo. And he deals. That clips a corner. That one drifts oh, inside. inside. Next and offering two. is in for a strike. And that just oh, misses. Oh. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. And down on strikes he goes, and one gone. Well, really nice job of finishing the hitter off right there. Glove side command, fastball firm to the outside corner. Tell you what, very difficult to do anything with that pitch, even if you do swing. Here's the Orioles' leadoff hitter, Austin Hayes. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Ball one low. And the pitch. Swing and blast one down the line. It's gone if it's fair, but it hooks foul. Well, he was ready for that fastball right there. It really turned on it and hit it hard. Had the distance, but just too much hook to it. So I want to make a little That's bit of an adjustment. Let it travel a little more and see if you can keep that thing fair. 2-1 now. And now the count okay. filled up three and two. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Toughest pitch to hit. Fastball on the outer black. The Man, back. sometimes you just got to tip the your cap. Ball. Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles. Yeah. That misses. No, ball. ball one. Ball. 
just Whoa. missed. Two balls, no strikes. Two zero. There's a strike. play the throw and that's a great play for the out that was a great job of doing the math he had the perfect angle diving stop completes the play and that ends the inning ready to begin the eighth and ready to hit now for Cincinnati Jake Fraley And a pitch. All Bottom right. of the zone and a called strike. Activity in the bullpen. Felix Bautista is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. The tying run at the plate. That pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge. Just changing planes and very difficult. She's for left hand. Swing and a miss struck him out. First out in the top of the eighth. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. So up next, Joey Votto. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Left-hand hitter waits. And that's in the dirt. Ball, ball. Out there to center. Grabs it on the run. And there's two down. Brian Baker gets the ball now. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Now pitching for the early. Number 43, Brian Baker. Now the third baseman, Spencer Steer. Here's the strike. Two outs. Just no, off the outside, outside part of the plate. Slice down the right side. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still down a run. It's 4-3. Back here at the ballpark. Out of the bottom of the eighth. And into the box for Baltimore. Anthony Santander. Santander. The pitch. Inside just missed. Off the mark no, there. Out. Two balls, no strikes. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there are some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Two ones to count. Two-two now. On the ground, right side. 
Votto takes it himself. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Third baseman number two. Younger. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Woo! That one's in there, 0 and 1. Right side, Votto steps out first for the out. Now batting, center fielder, Aaron Hicks. Aaron Hicks at the plate. Yeah. That's in there. That's strike one. Oh, one. And that one a little Ball, bit high. high. And one and two. Man, Ball, this has been a three. real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. At the belt and fires. That misses two, the two. zone. Two balls, two strikes. the string with the change up struck him out no runs no hits no errors ninth inning coming up it's the Orioles four and the Reds three so they turn things over to the righty Felix Bautista well he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins so this game has gone to plan more or less Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Tyler Stevenson. The pitch. Triple digits. Next offering upstairs. The pitch. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. I'll tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Mailey at the plate now, and that's inside. And a pitch. Good eye right there. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. Misses inside. Three and O. Oh. TJ Friedel waits on deck. One run game here in the top of the ninth. That one's in there. That's strike one. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Right handed reliever. Fouls one away and now three and two.
Righty delivers. In the air, foul off first. And that quickly, two away. And now the center fielder, T.J. Friedel. And that's in there for strike one. Well, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more guys that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-2. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0-2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. That misses the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. One, two. Next offering is foul back. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 4-3, our final score, as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. For the Reds, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and nine minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at the ballpark, 45,971. The Orioles would like to thank you for attending.